Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another unboxing video here on the channel and we've got Grand Creators. Now, I also do have another box to open up a little later so this will be the next video. I'm doing this as a two part of video thing. So let's just get cracking on to Grand Creators. Now, <laughs> Grand Creators is bringing a whole bunch of uh, new archetypes such as the punk one and uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll cr come across them as we go. And there's a few nice reprints in here, but nothing really too special that I like. Ooh, Solemn Strike right off the bat. That's a nice generic trap. Yeah, the uh, Exo Sisters. Oh, yeah, and uh, we got this new uh, Adventure Support. Oh, I mean, Archetype. Castell. Castell's nice. Ooh, Psychic Wheeler. Another Exo Sister. So, this is some pretty nice reprints in here. Very nice reprints. Ooh, kind of butchered this pack a little. I just want to get through all this so we can get to the main video. Alright, Thunder Discharge. Okay, that's another Adventure Token one. Insector Hopper. Yeah, we got Insector Support reprints in here, including one new Insector card. So, as someone who was uh, playing back then, really nice. We got this uh, Draco back Rideable Dragon thing. We got a Nanyan. Ah, here's our first punk card. Gagaku Punk Wild Picking. Oh, another punk card. Madam Spider. Yeah, I'm not going to really bother too much with uh, reading the names of some of these cards, because with, like, all this uh, foil text, it's going to be hard to read. Especially if cards are being that difficult to get back in their packs as well. <laughs> oh, well. Let's keep cracking on. Ooh, Torrental. That's nice. That's another Punk card. Ooh, Rizbert, the Star Adjuster. Psychic Tracker. Exorcist Amit. Ooh, Extra Stag. Ooh, she looks nice and very strong too. Very nice. That was an Exorcist uh, X XC Monster. Which I suppose, speaking of XCs, let's talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel for a moment. Because Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is currently out, and the XCs tournament is in swing. I don't get why people are playing the the self-destruction deck. Even when it seems like it's not a self-destruction deck, I don't understand why you're not doing it. Like, I'm playing in this event as well, and I'm not running an extra deck myself. I'm running essentially Troll. It's my own unique build of uh, mostly cheap cards. Wheeler, the new Insector card. But yeah, I, I do like it. The Insector Link. Hmm. Like, I'd say half the wins I'm getting are from self-destruction players, which I'm not going to complain that I'm getting these wins. It's just... I expect to lose to basically any meta deck that can out my board, as slow and peasanty as it is. <sighs> but there are times when I have a pretty nice, uh, engaging game. Ooh, ties to the brethren. That's a nice pull. Crash B. Ooh, armory call for good for equips. Or Exo Sister Goki Po, Nyan Nyan, hmm. Exo Sister Vedas. Very nice. But yeah. And I am also hoping to bring you some uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel videos soon. Like, I might showcase this uh, troll deck I'm using currently in the tournament. I, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get a video out on that during the remainder of the tournament, or oh, the um, event duration. Ooh, Hidden Armory. That's nice. Got a rideable dragon, tracer, hornet, magical warrior, the relics. This is another adventure one. But yeah, like so many of the other Yugi tubers, the mainstream Yugi tubers, I want to bring you some master duel footage. I will admit, what I have is not much, but. 
It's not the meta stuff. It's the rogue stuff. Because that's what we do. That's what we do. Right. Exo Sister Irene. Centipede. Ooh, E Telly. Armory Call. Ladybug. Crash Beat. Wagon. Honestly, there's a lot of really nice reprints in here. Including the Insecta stuff. Because we haven't seen the Insecta stuff since the Xyz era. With the exception of the Link Mob stuff. Alright, Ladybug. Charge. Centipede. Ooh, Insect Imitation. Zalam the Dark Palace. Oh, okay. So this is another adventure token card. Very nice. A foster tail. Probably butchered that a little bit. So yeah, uh, regarding grand creators, I'd say aside from uh, all the new archetype stuff, which I I've seen uh, people at my locals playing the uh, adventure token stuff. Um, Honestly, I rate it just for all the reprints. Castell, Strike, Torrental, Hornet, Capedism, Elis. Elis, what is my trade card? What is my trading card made of? keeping a uh, quite an interesting look at the um all these uh, really cool and interesting decks that are being shown up by the Yugi tubers and even though these are pretty much all master dual decks it has been interesting to try and translate the ones I like the most into a TCG equivalent with the current ban list ooh exceeds universe mm, that's nice Need telly there is nice as well. That's a nice pack. So yeah, I might try and uh, showcase some of those decks at a later time, which will probably be on the uh, YDO Pro. And we might even have some uh, featured guests to um, play against. With vocal commentary as well. Because if it's just me talking, it's not really that engaging. Ooh, some nice insect stuff here. Ooh, Breath of Resurrection. That's another adventure token card. Very nice. Like, honestly, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with the uh, Exosister, Punk, and um, Adventure token stuff. Like, I need to have an actual better look at it, like most other brand new archetypes in these special expansion sets. And determine wh what their value is to me. Starlet. Papillon. Okay, this is another adventure token one. Ladybug, Rising Cup, Armory Call. Ooh, another Noble Arms of Light. Lost Flames. Ooh, Zectra Kuo. This is, I believe, another new card for Insectors. Yeah, this one looks really nice. Hmm. Alright. First portion down. Now, overall, I don't really think we're going to really find a uh, pull of the uh, box because I think the only like really rare cards that are in the set are like the new things, rather than any reprints, because that's usually how these things go. Torrential, Hornet, Yan Yan. Hey, the one doing Griffin Rider. I've uh, encountered this in uh, locals a, f a fair bit. Combos uh, with a uh, disequip spell. That's neat. That's really neat. Don't know why they use it in. Fair investigation. Alright, Itelli. Field. Spell. 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 Oh, no, field. Ties. Gibrin. Alright, 
What else we got in these? I will admit, this is not the most exciting uh, box I've ever cracked open. Intimidation, like, I suppose the exciting part for me is getting all these lovely insect or reprints, because, like, the insect, the extra deck monsters, they were always, like, a super or ultras. So I probably only have, like, one copy of each, but now I have, like, as many copies as I want. So anyway, let's keep cracking on these packs. Not a ladybug, rising carp, armory, dun dun, dun lost flowers, imitation, resur resurrection. Hopper. Argument, E. Telly, Rizbel, Goki Pole, Lost Flowers, See Armin, or oh, See Armin, Also, uh, today we are using our um, the uh, overall Yugi. Anniversary mat here, which has got like cards from all the areas and such. All right, armory, next to beetle ties, Nashi Wari surprise, or picking, rising carp, Griffin Rider. I think we pulled two Griffin Riders today. Psychic Wheeler, Hidden Armory, Imitation, Torrental, Zack Calibur, Goki Pole, Dragonfly, okay. So this is like almost an entirely reprint pack. Like, I'll, I'll kind of take that over the, the new stuff. Like, even though the, uh, as he is, that the new, I forget. I completely forget. Eh, it doesn't really matter. Alright, extra stag, tracer, hopper, nanyan, papillon, irene, picofalia. That's a nice pack. And that I think is actually a uh, good rarity bump for this insecto card as well, because I think it originally was a common, which made it really easy to get. But that's really good for the, uh, the rarity hauls. Because some people don't want to play like a common, like um, a common version of the card. They want like a super, an ultra, a secret, a prismatic, even a collector's rare. Ties, Castel, Torrento, Caspiel, Centipede, Itali. Ooh, amazing dragon of the punk. Hmm, powerful looking. Need more data. Alright, three packs to go. Then we move on to Battle of Chaos in the next video. This pack is deciding to be difficult. Alright, Goki Pole, Army Cole, Hornet, Rizbell, Dark Palace, Extra Beetle, Z Amin. Alright, Janelle, Shakusa, Papillon, Zek Calibur, Rising Carp, Castel, Resurrection. This is pretty much a uh, new card set. Like, I can't remember if this Insector equipment spell is the, new, is the new Insector card or if it's a reprint. Because I'm pretty sure there's a new Insector Equip spell on this. I just can't remember if it would stat or anything else. Alright, another Rideable Dragon, Extra Stag, Armory, Wheeler, Tracer, Rizbel, and Vadis. Okay, 
So that's going to do uh, Grand Creators for now. So overall, this is a nice set for some very lovely reprints, especially the Insectors. Although I think that the uh, Adventure Tokens uh, stuff in here is not to be slept on as well. It seems to be quite useful. I, I don't know if I would say good, because I, 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 I will reserve personal judgment until I've probably played around or at least read all the cards in the archetype to see their value and such, but overall, interesting. So let's now put this aside and move on to the main event in the next video.